Have you ever eaten something so good that you've instantly fallen in love with it? Japan's Yubari King melons are certainly in that category. Top grade luxury melons fetching as much as $200 at Tokyo supermarkets. And at auction, as much as a new car. So here we are in Hokkaido. This is the Yubati Melon Auction. In 2019, a pair of melons sold for almost $50,000. In this episode, we'll take you to the excitement of the auction here, but also to the farm fields in Yubati to understand what makes these melons so valuable. This is the Yubati King Melon Auction story. Japanese luxury fruit, farm to table. <laughs> The annual Yubani King Melon Auction is about to take place in Sapporo. And I'm pretty excited to see how much these are gonna be going for. The largest pair of Yubati's excellent class melons this year. The first auction of the year usually takes place at the end of May, depending on the harvest. This year's top melons will fetch more than last year's for sure. The anticipation and excitement building here, but why would anyone pay so much for a pair of cantaloupe melons? To learn the true value, we need to start at the farms in Yubati. Hokkaido, not far from Sapporo, sits a town surrounded by hills. This is Yubani. Early April, the snow is still melting in Hokkaido, very little green. Spring is several weeks away. These vinyl greenhouses are where the melons grow. This is Kobayashi-san and he's going to show us around his Yubani melon farm during the first 50 days. It takes 100 days to grow a full melon. The melon vines have plenty of space to spread out, roughly one to three meters in length over time. This is the early stage during pollination. Looking down, you see yellow flowers. And bees, lots of bees. Without the bees pollinating the melon flowers, there'd be no melons. They're moved from vinyl greenhouse to greenhouse as part of the pollination process. And oh yeah, they make really great honey too. After pollination, the bulb under the flower will start to grow. This will become the melon. Smaller melons will be trimmed away to encourage better quality fruit growth. This baby melon bulb looks like a hairy cucumber. In a couple of months, it'll be that beautiful melon that we all know. These are the seeds the farmers use to grow the Yubati King melons. They're pretty valuable, locked up at the co-op, but there are many factors like weather, water, and soil that play a huge role in adding value to the final taste. Farmers start preparing and setting up the greenhouses in March when the melting snows allow it. I was surprised that these houses had moving parts. They can open up, allowing air in to cool off the houses. <laughs> Here's a melon plant after being grafted. Simply put, leaves were sliced off and fused with a clamp to a new rootstock. This produces much better melons. This greenhouse we're entering finished planting a few weeks earlier. We've seen the vine growth, flowering, and pollination in the first 50 days. These greenhouses are going to make some delicious and profitable king melons by early summer. We'll be back at the end of May for the harvest just before the world-famous melon auction. Spring hits Hokkaido late, around early May. The town is incredibly green, even with those vinyl greenhouses which seem to be just about everywhere in this part of town. So this is Goto-san's melon farm. Right now, they're doing the first melon harvest of the year. Let's go take a look inside the greenhouse. You can see just how much they've grown. These seedlings creating a melon patch the length of the greenhouse. Underneath the foliage on the ground are melons sitting on white trays waiting to be harvested. You can tell they're ready by the size and color. On this day, J.A. Yubati, the co-op, is hosting a media event to celebrate the first harvest before the auction. Yubati melons are a big deal. The national press has come to cover the story. Goto-san answers the usual questions on what makes a Yubati King melon so incredibly special. 
one of the jewels of Hokkaido and Japan's incredible fruit industry. This day is a real family affair, with Goto-san's family helping to pick the ceremonial melons. His son and daughter are helping out a lot, perhaps taking the family mantle of Yubari King Melon producer when they grow up. The stems of the melon are left on at harvest because it improves the aesthetics of the melon. He's been following the progress of the melons for about 100 days and knows which melons are ready based on size, shape, and color. This cart is getting pretty full. I'm not sure if his son will be able to get it to the sorting area. He'll certainly need some help from his sister. They take some questions from the national press. <laughs> Goto-san picks a few more before the ceremony ends. These go to the sorting area where they're cleaned, weighed, and put into boxes to the co-op. Most farms here are family operations hiring in season to help with the volume. You can see there are a lot of melons on this day. The quality and ranking of the melons will be decided by the co-op, but producers have a good idea of how their annual crop yields. You can see there are a lot of different sizes. Whether it's four, five, or six, or more, the boxes should hold about eight kilograms. The harvest goes on from about May 20th to the middle of August. So to get the best Yubari King melons, you have to put in a lot of work and hope for some luck. Goto-san explains about how he judges the melons for harvest. メロンの頭を見てだんだん手刈りというか変わってくるんですよね。この雰囲気っていうのがで最後はこのメロンの下の方を見て判断します。ここここの色が変わってくるのでだんだん黄色くなってきます。で最後は色が乗ってきたら収
It's so juicy. You won't know what it's like for sure until you actually eat one. It's fun to eat it like a watermelon, even if they do cost as much as $200. It's still fruit, although a perfect piece of fruit. I guess it's just something that has such amazing value here. It's something you would give as a gift. It would, you'd give out of appreciation to, to really say thank you to somebody. That's why a, a piece of fruit like this uh, is a wonderful gift here in Japan and maybe even uh, anywhere around the world. I would like to eat this every day, I'll be honest with you, but it's just not something that, that you can afford to do. So it becomes a very special meal, something maybe you would eat once or twice uh, a year, if that, and I think uh, there's a great appreciation when you do eat something that has so much flavor like these melons here. It's just something that's very, to me, this is like really special. But why do Japanese pay so much for these? There's a gift giving season in Japan, showing appreciation to somebody and giving a luxury fruit as a gift, a high graded one, is a great present. And don't forget that the farmers work pretty hard, almost like a chef making a perfect dish. These melons are so perfect as is. Melon no shukka no kikaku ga arimashite, ryo, yu, shu, tokushu. De, sono naka demo, ryo wa the goal is to grow two stems from each seedling and let them have six baby melons. Then the farmer will choose the most promising one or two of them and cut the other four or five away. They're looking for the best shape and size. This means 70 to 80 percent of the baby melons are cut away. And in this greenhouse, Goto-san said there are 150 in here for harvest. So wait, are Yubari melons melons? Sort of. Here are some facts. Yubari King melons were born and branded in 1951 from two cantaloupe cultivars, Earl's favorite imported from the UK during the Taisho era, and Burpee spicy cantaloupe. Cantaloupe melons also ripen after harvesting. Melons typically do not, they just get softer. Yubari King melons are grown on the ground, not hung, white trays under them to help protect and shape them as they get heavier. This year, 98 local farmers plan to ship a total of 3,438 tons of melon, valued around 2.03 billion yen. The Yubari King melons are harvested annually between the end of May to the middle of August. If you miss the season, you'll have to wait until next year for one. Yubari King melons are protected by the Japanese geographical indication like Japanese Wagyu beef. You can find Yubari King melons for as low as $40 in Tokyo for good quality, but the higher brick sugar count and size of excellent quality can increase prices to as much as $200 for a pair. The top outstanding rank melon accounts for only 0.2% of the harvest, thus the higher price. It's larger and sweeter. The Yubari melon auction has sold the most expensive melon in the world, and we're about to go there right now. It's the first auction day for this year's Yubari King Melon crop, and boxes of excellent ranked melons in wood boxes are ready to be bid on. 2,721 Yubari King Melons in total will be auctioned. Historically, we can see melon prices have mostly risen, with some dips in financially weak years like after the financial crisis of 2008. Reaching a high of 5 million yen or $46,500 in 2019, just before the COVID outbreak in 2020, which saw the prices dip to a 40-year low. Will the price increase again off of the 2.7 million yen winning bid from last year? This year's auction drew a smaller media presence due to the pandemic, but expectations were high. The Yubari King Melon reputation is world-renowned these days, and what happens here will be covered around the world in the media. The mayor of Yubari came with the officials from JA Yubari, the local co-op which inspects and verifies all the melons. The bell starts the auction. The excellent shoe-ranked melon in the front is the one we're all waiting for. The auctioneer takes a bid, speaking in a language unknown to everyone in the room except the bidders, who bid with hand gestures. When the top melon was finally auctioned off, there was no recognition by the media in the room, no shock or hush from the crowd. It just came and went, and the total was written on the whiteboard to announce it. Three million yen, 
or about $26,500. You can buy a new car with that. So why do people bid so much for these special melons? The winning bid this year came from Hoka U Pack, a Ubadi based company that sells and packs fruits and vegetables. Every media outlet from all over the country was here to find out why he bid so much, including yours truly, only in Japan. Kiyomichi Noda, the company president, was nice enough to explain why he bid so much. The super high price paid is not just to get media attention, although the whole world is watching these days how much it'll go for. It's really a gift to the melon farmers, thanking them for their hard work. That high price energizing them throughout the year to keep producing the best of the best. This high respect for the farmers is one reason why Japanese fruits and vegetables are some of the best in the world, and the prices for premium produce really reflects that respect. The melons were wrapped up carefully and transported back to Yubadi, to the melon dome for display. These melons will be eaten in about a week's time by 100 people who want to try it. So it might be worth coming to Yubadi if you want to claim you've eaten a 3 million yen, $26,000 melon. If you really want to chow down on these melons, visit the all-you-can-eat house next door. For 30 minutes, you'll get trays of cut melons delivered to you. A very heavenly experience. Well worth the 2,500 yen or about $20. で、今回は漁、輸出と出荷されたんですけど、その中の周品の一番大きな棚が、え、今回は300万円ということで、競り落とされました。で、え、誰のメロンとかっていうのはなくて、夕張メロンは出荷されたら夕張市農協で検査が